Salvation and Freedom Prayer. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 38, And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below, indeed nothing in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ our Lord. Jesus, Jesus, the perfect Lamb, at the mention of your name, everything must bow. We adore you, Lord God. In you there is salvation and freedom, the Rose of Sharon. There is no other name that has the power, the sovereignty for all powers. Everything belongs to you. Everything was given to you by the Father. Eternal and always faithful, there is none like you. Beautiful, lovely, name above all names. God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit. There is healing in your name and we receive you. You are our faith and our hope. Our devotion is in you. We thank you that nothing, nothing can separate us from your love. You are our Savior, our Redeemer, our Healer, our Refuge. Neither height nor depth nor any creature shall separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Your glory surrounds us now like a cloud surrounding us and the plans of darkness cannot prosper against us today we will see the victory because you are the lord of peace you are the lord of grace and the prayers of the righteous availeth much prayers to you become power in our mouth and victory over sin and death and in our lives, we will see victory as we give ourselves to you this day. Satan, you are under our feet for no weapon formed against us will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us, Christ will condemn. For that is the heritage of the children of the Lord. You are, we, you are Jesus more than a conqueror and we can do all things through you because you give us strength. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father. We ask forgiveness today, Lord, for giving so much thoughts and fears and worries and access to Satan. We ask you forgiveness for our sins. We ask forgiveness for me as an individual. And we ask forgiveness for our family's sins. And we ask forgiveness for the sins of the church. My God, Lord God, I am not a perfect person. I know that I sin, but I want to be better, and I ask you forgiveness. The Word says to not give the enemy a place in our lives. I recognize that when I partner with the world, I am partnering with the enemy of my soul. Lord, I want to love what you love and hate what you hate. I ask forgiveness now. Thank you, Lord, for the cross, for your blood that cleanses me from all iniquities and all sins. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, over my family, over my finances. I plead the blood of Jesus over my home, over my workplace, over everything that means anything to me, over my car, over anything and everything, Lord God, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over the doorpost of my home. I plead the blood of Jesus over the windows. I plead the blood of Jesus, my Father, over every room of my home. I plead the blood of Jesus, God, over my bed so that I may have sweet sleep, my Father. I plead the blood of Jesus, my Father, over every area of my home 
Father God, in the name of Jesus. May you be enthralled. May you be enthroned, my God. May you be, Lord God, reigning in my home, reigning, Father God, in the hearts of my family, reigning, Father God, in the heart of everyone I speak with, everyone I see, everyone I hear, my God. May you, God, penetrate my life in such a mighty way to create a revival in my heart. But first, I need to repent. I say thank you for the cross. Thank you for your sacrifice that was perfect for the payment of my sins. Thank you for your forgiveness. I ask you forgiveness for my pride, for my selfishness, for my lust, for my greed. I ask you forgiveness for my unforgiveness. I ask you forgiveness for the hardness in my heart. I ask you forgiveness, Lord. I ask you forgiveness for my thoughts and the sins of my mouth. I ask you forgiveness. Father God, for any infidelity, any adultery, any abortion, any sexual abuse, I ask you forgiveness for any acts of sexual immorality, for getting someone drunk to see their nakedness. I ask you forgiveness for aligning with sinful leaders, even when your word says to beware of sheep in wolves' clothing. I ask you forgiveness for the sins of anger or screaming or terrorizing my children or others. Holy Spirit of God, reveal to me any sin that may be hiding, that we are blind. I am blind and I have a blind spot that I cannot see. I ask you forgiveness for the times that I may have mocked the church, the pastors, or the virgin birth, or any passage of the Bible. Father God, I recognize today that I have sinned and I need a Savior. We need you, Jesus. Forgive us, forgive me for deceiving myself into thinking that others are more sinful than me. All sins are bad. They have no level. Not one is greater than the other. I have a need for grace, O Lord. Thank you for setting me free from guilt, shame, and condemnation. I lay bare before you today. I offer myself as a living sacrifice, and I ask you to cleanse me. I meditate on God's grace. I meditate on your grace now. I meditate on what you did for me. I focus on you, on your beauty, on your love. I focus on you on the cross, bleeding for me. I focus on you now, on every lash that you took for me. I focus on every wound that has my name on it. I focus on you hanging from the cross, paying the price for my sins, for my family's sins. I focus on your wish and your, and you desire to pay for me freely I focus on you and your humbleness and your love for me Jesus you thought of me when you were hanging on that cross I was on your mind and you gave my life you gave your life for me voluntarily and you did it even though I did not love you, even though I was your enemy, even though I was a sinful person, you did it for me and for humanity that hated you. Like a fountain of grace, your blood dripped down your body 
your legs and your beautiful hands were nailed to the tree for me, for my family, for the whole human race. Jesus, I say thank you now. Thank you, Lord. I allow thanksgiving and gratefulness to enter my heart. I feel the thanksgiving and the gratefulness now. I feel your love melting the hardness of my heart. Thank you, Jesus. I let your love and sacrifice fill me. I let my heart melt before you in love for you. Father, I see all the chains, all the chains, my God, that were holding me to the world, holding me to Satan right now. They are broken in the name of Jesus. You paid for my redemption. All chains are broken. All chains are broken and I say right now, the chains of addiction are broken, the chains of anger, the chains of pride, the chains of unfaithfulness, the chains of sexual impurities, the chains of lust, the chains, my Father, of unforgiveness, O oh God, the chains, my Father, of lying, of deception, of anger, violence, the chains of alcoholism, the chains of prostitution, the chains, my Father, of thoughts of loneliness, of thoughts that I am not enough, the thoughts that I am not worthy, those chains that come from the pit of hell, they are broken right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I receive you now. I receive your sacrifice. I receive your love for me. I receive you as Father, as Savior, as Redeemer, as my peace. I am saved by your grace, and all things are made new. I am made new, Father. Father, you say that I am a saint, that I am a royal priesthood, a holy nation, transferred from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of your Son's light. I am called a peculiar person that has gone from death to life, from darkness to light. You say the same of all of us. You, there, are, there, there is no favoritism in you, my God. You say the same even for the ones that have not received the truth, for there is forgiveness for all of us, for these that want to believe and receive from you today, there is forgiveness. You are holy and we are holy also, the Bible says. The addict is no longer addicted. The sexual pervert is set free. When we receive you, there is no sin in hell. There is no one that cannot be forgiven, healed, and transformed. If we only believe, we can and are healed by your stripes, by your wounds. Today, sicknesses and diseases are healed off of our body, O oh God. Today, our mind is healed from all thoughts of condemnation, of shame, of guilt. Today, I am healed by your stripes, O oh God. I am healed, O oh God. In your name's sake, O oh God, today we say to Satan, I renounce you, I reject you. You have no authority over me. I am a child of God. And as I obey and sin no more, I am no longer a slave to sin. I am a slave to righteousness. And all things have passed away. And now new things, the new things, the new man is here. The new woman is here. I emerge, Father God. I emerge by your grace. I emerge, O oh God, new and set free. I can now forgive others with no pride or thoughts of vengeance because I receive your love and I can give love. 
I have pure thoughts, holy thoughts, love thoughts. From now on, O oh God, I will sing, seek things that are pure, perfect, lovely. I will seek thoughts. I will think the thoughts that are positive, that are grounded and rooted in you, my Father. Lord God in heaven, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for my forgiveness. I thank you for this moment. I thank you, O oh God, for your great grace, my Father, that allows me to come before you and cleanse myself, open my heart, for you are the great cardiologist. You do open heart surgery if we allow you to do so, if we come voluntarily, if we give ourselves, if we lay bare, naked before you, God, you do a great work in our hearts, Father. Father God, we put our heart in your hands. Change our hearts. Change my heart, Lord so that I may help others, O oh God, so that my words and my actions are healing, are hope and encouragement and of love for others. Father, I thank you for my freedom today. I thank you for my freedom. I thank you for metanoia, which is turning around and sinning no more. It is a 180 degree turn. It is leaving the sins behind and looking forward to a new day, a new life, a new way of doing, of talking and of behaving. It is a new way. It is, it is truly repentance, leaving the old ways and the old man behind, Father God. And we thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for your great grace and your love and your mercies and your kindness, my God, that your love does endure forever. Thank you, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen.